The Particle Photon is an integrated IoT prototyping platform that can bring to life even the most basic projects. In this video, we will learn how to power the Particle Photon and why you should be very careful when doing so. For this video, you will need the following. The most obvious and easiest power solution for the Particle Photon is the onboard micro USB connector. This connector does not just allow for communication with the PC, but is also a 5V source. Many projects can take advantage of this and use a simple phone charger or a USB port from a computer as the power source. However, this method is not practical for portable projects as most USB sources are mains operated. Like the Arduino boards, the Photon has a V-in pin that allows for an external voltage to power the Photon. However, unlike the Arduino, the Photon has a maximum of 6.5 volts on this pin, which makes powering the Photon with batteries somewhat challenging. A common power source for portable projects, the 9 volt battery cannot be used with the Photon and therefore needs to be regulated before being supplied to the Photon. This can be done with either the use of a simple 7805 linear regulator or a DC-DC module, but either way, the power going to V-in cannot be more than 6.5 volts. This method is useful when building portable projects that require an external battery and do not have access to main supply. While the LM7805 could be used for regulation, a DC-DC converter would be better as they are more efficient. The Photon has an external 3.3 volts pin on pin 24, which is typically used as a source, but this can be reverse driven to provide the Photon with 3.3 volts. However, using this pin must be done with great caution as it directly feeds the Photon and does not go through any regulation circuitry. Therefore, it is recommended that only a linear 3.3 volt regulator such as an AMS1117 or LM1117 is used as these do not have variable outputs. This type of input would be useful in situations where an external 3.3 volt supply is already available as the photon may not be able to provide the power needed for external circuits, such as motors and relays. You may have noticed a VBAT input in the photon. At first glance, you would think that this might be a battery input that would power the photon, but that's only half right. The VBAT input on pin 22 does not indeed connect to a battery, but the battery type connected to this input should be a coin cell. This is a power source for the Photon's real-time clock so that the system can keep accurate track of time. 